Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to manually download from Windows 11 to Windows 10. We will cover the downgrade option if you have recently upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11, but this video is more dedicated to those of you who either were not previously on Windows 10 or have not been on Windows 10 for a while and you're wanting to go back. Before we jump into the video, if you're interested in purchasing Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, Office, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, put links down below. Without further ado, let's jump in. All right guys, so the first option we're gonna show you is in the settings. So I'll hit Windows key and I together. Inside of settings, I'm gonna to go to system and here we'll select recovery. If it's been two weeks or less since you upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11, there will be an option inside of here that says go back. This option will automatically restore the previous operating system for you while keeping your data. In our case, and in many of your cases, you will not have this option. And so let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so before we proceed with the next step, there's an important thing to cover. In order for us to downgrade to Windows 10, we have to manually install the installation file and there will not be an option to keep our files. And that is where these come in. So this is an external hard drive. And in the event that you are reinstalling your operating system to Windows 10, you would simply back up your computer files to an external drive. Now you could also back up your files to the cloud, but the important thing is, please be sure to back up any and all critical data before we proceed. All right, with that out of the way, let's finish the tutorial. All right, guys, so the first step is we're gonna go ahead and head into our browser and we're gonna type in the following web address, aka.ms slash download Windows 10. Now, as we can see, we're prompted to create Windows 10 installation media. So we'll click download now on this blue box here, and that's gonna download the media creation tool for Windows 10. Once the download's done, we will reveal that in our file explorer here, and I'll double click to run the exe. Select accept on the agreement here. I'm gonna opt for the second option here, which is create installation media. I'll hit next. I'm fine with leaving the recommended options on. That's Windows 10 64-bit in English US. I'll hit next, and I'll click ISO file. Then I'll hit next again, and I'll just save this directly to my desktop. Okay, now this is gonna take a while, so I will skip to the part when the download is complete. All right, guys, so that did take quite a while, but the ISO file is now downloaded. So I'll simply click finish here. And at this point, we can see the windows.iso is right here on my desktop. So I will right click and I will hit mount here and I'll double click the setup.exe and I'll click yes. Here we're prompted to install Windows 10. So I will hit next. It's now checking for updates. So we'll let this load. Here we would accept the license terms. Again, we only have the option to keep nothing. I'll hit next again. Now here is where I'm prompted to continue using the selection. I'm gonna select no in in my case, I'm just demonstrating how to do this, but I'm not actually going to install Windows 10 on my computer, but you would simply hit yes there and follow along with the last few steps of the wizard. Now, once Windows 10 is finished installing on your computer, you would go through your typical computer setup as if it were a new computer. And then once that's done, you can simply copy over your important data that you backed up earlier. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about downgrading to Windows 10, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. All right, thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.